Kids as young as 12 can soon get a dose of the COVID vaccine. The FDA expanded its emergency use authorization for Pfizer's vaccine. It comes at a time when vaccines are becoming more and more available. Pam Serrano is live at the Giant Eagle in Shaler, where they're now offering shots to walk-ins. Pam. Ken, as far as these walk-in vaccination clinics here at Giant Eagle, they're right now only for those 18 years of age and older, but that could change. And as for the parents we spoke to tonight, they say getting a vaccine for their preteens and teens is more than just an ounce of prevention. At a Little League game in Shaler, parents were abuzz with news that U.S. regulators expanded the use of Pfizer's vaccine to kids ages 12 to 15. This group of baseball parents says it weighs heavily on them. And we're still getting alerts that there is COVID in the schools. Dina Perino says her son doesn't want to miss more time away from in-person school, but he gets scared. He says, is it possible that because I'm the only one in the house that's not vaccinated, that I could be the one that could die from this? Many parents say their children's grades and moods were affected by spending so much time away from other kids and the classroom. Ron Schwartzmeyer has another important reason he hopes to be able to get his twin boys vaccinated. Their mom is medically vulnerable. If the kids would have went to school and come home with the COVID, it could be catastrophic to their mothers. The plan is to send the boys to school in person this fall. Pfizer says its race to protect middle and high school students heading back to school needed to start now. Or if the virus does spread, you, know, you could you might take it home to a you know a grandmother lives at home with you or a, a, a sick parent or something like that that you, you're putting them at risk. These parents and caregivers say now that their kids are back to sports, they also want them to stay back to school. He wants it. He feels that when he goes to school, um, even though teachers are vaccinated, children aren't, and in and out of school, uh, too many cases are coming in. Now, the Food and Drug Administration has declared that the Pfizer vaccine is safe for preteens and teens. Final recommendations by U.S. regulators are expected Wednesday with shots to come soon after that. But if parents want to take their younger children for a vaccine, they are still recommended to make an appointment for them first. Don't just walk into clinics like here at Giant Eagle. In Shaler Township, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.